Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about iOS 18. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, iOS 18 is right around the corner. Happy June everyone, it is 1st of June today. And what this means, 1st of June means that we are in WWDC month. Less than 12 days left for WWDC, let's go. Actually, not even 12 days. 10 days left for WWDC. I am so excited. I know you are as well. So hit that subscribe button because I will be coming up with a lot of iOS 18 content and you don't have to miss it. Let's get right into today's video without wasting any more time. All right. So things to remember before installing iOS 18 and how do you install iOS 18 on the first day? Let's talk about that. Let's start up with how to install iOS 18 as soon as WWDC ends. Apple is having an event WWDC 2024. Apple will be showcasing us all the new softwares that they have in the store for us. Vision OS, Mac OS, iOS, Watch OS. A lot of new softwares will be coming out and you have to simply just log in Apple Developer Program. You just have to go. I have linked the website in the description below. Go on that website, log in with your Apple ID. Earlier, we used to have a profile, but now you just have to log in with your Apple ID and restart your device, then go in software and then in the beta profile section right now you will have ios 17 developer beta and public beta options but after some time you will also have ios 18 beta option there now it was that easy but wait 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 this means that a lot of people will be installing ios 18 and trust me you should not why let's talk about that i know i know the new features ai features and a lot of new things coming up with the new ios version is making us excited to experience it and use it but if you are using your one device it is your primary device and you are installing ios 18 on that device you should probably just not do it because it is not a good idea why because ios 18 is coming in beta right now it is the beta one the beta cycle will be going on until September. September will be the time when new iPhones will be coming out and that time only we will see iOS 18 public version. Installing a beta on your device means that there are a lot of chances for your data getting lost and you not being able to use a lot of your banking and finance related apps. In general, a lot of apps won't be able to be compatible and will be really, really buggy on the beta version ios 18 beta will not be the best one for your primary device but if it is your secondary device then you can definitely go ahead and install it and give it a shot number one thing make sure to back up your data before installing ios 18 if you are planning on installing it on your primary device then make sure your device is backed up on icloud and as well as on a hardware that means a laptop or a hard disk because these beta versions are just not reliable enough and there has been times that i have been i remember when i installed ios 16 beta on my iphone 10 i remember my iphone was prigged and the Apple logo was continuously coming on boot loop and I was having just a lot of issues on that device. So yeah, make sure to back up your device just in case that 1% of chance comes up and your device gets messed up. Anyways, I know you guys are really excited for iOS 18 and want to try all the new features and what all new things are coming up on our iPhones. I know you guys are. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification because I will be coming up with a lot of content related to watchOS and iOS, macOS, all of the Apple software stuff. If you are into it, Make sure to hit that subscribe button. This is me, Jay, aka Tech Hyped, and I am signing off. Peace out and have a great day, everyone.